What is up everybody? This is the Wax Man. As you can see, we have a different setup for the next video for the Back to the Past Wednesday. While we still have this all set up the way we do, we want to take advantage of this and get this filmed for you guys. We know that last week we went ahead and we uh, introduced ourselves to the cards and we see we've got a Manny hiding in here and I have more supplies so definitely want to go ahead and put him under wraps get him in a nice little sleeve since this is his rookie card wave of the future Manny Ramirez so now let's set him back here and let's go ahead open this up Let's get to the next one here. Move this out of the way. So we have a little more space. And that said, let me grab my uh, blade so we can cut these open. And at the same time, I want to say thank you to everybody for being in the break the other night. We had a good time. We pulled a lot of rookies. We pulled we pulled so many rookies. I actually ran out of top loaders. It was crazy. It was crazy. And at the same time, I wanted to show you guys a, a couple of cards that I got. Let me see where you're at. From Incredible CJ's. He sent these to me here at a little auction the other day. And these cards were really, uh, really, really nice pickups. I, I had one of these or, or, or two, but I wanted to make sure I had more. So here's Andujar. Here's his rookie card from the 2018 Tops. You know, he's got he's out for the season, but... Um, if he heals right, everything will be good, and uh, you know the, this would be definitely worth what I paid for because it, it, you know, it was a real good deal. So, just want to share those with the Donruss Optic. Here's the opening day, and then uh, this was a really nice looking card, real nice. So, if you guys ever have a chance to visit with Incredible CJ's. Um, Make sure you guys go ahead and sub him. I'll go ahead and I'll put his uh, his YouTube channel link in the uh, description below. And let's go ahead and let's see what we got hiding up in here. I thought it was really cool how these were packaged. You open them up and then they're still wrapped again. So this was this is really a, when the company when you see a company trying to make sure that they package everything protect it the best that they can and here we are all these years later opening them up pack fresh as you can tell my my table is not as stable as the other table but we're, we're working on uh, moving some stuff around in the house here's Joe Carter Julio Franco Jay Buner Here's Andres Galaraja. Here's a nice card of Shane Mack. And let's see, here's uh, Kevin Reamer. Here is Felix Jose, and we'll take a look uh, this way if you guys haven't seen the back of these. These are really a classy, classy job. Um, I think that this was, you know, the car, you know, bef they were ahead of their time. So it's a shame that Fleer um, wasn't able to stay in business in the long run, but I think that their product today, that if it was put out looking anything like this, people would be quick to buy it up. All right, so let's get to the next one here.
Hope everybody's enjoying their day today. You know, Wednesday has a lot of different nicknames. Hump Day. It's another day it's called. Why? Because it's the middle of the week. So why, what better time of the week to reflect on cards than on a Wednesday and just think about back to the past. Think about how different things were. I even uh, watched a Ted Williams documentary earlier uh, just because uh, I wanted to see you know some more information on him. There's Robin Yount to learn more about him. And, and I can't disagree with what they were saying. Fernando Valenzuela. Oh, there's a Tom Glavin. Nice. You know, Tom Glavin was a very decent pitcher for the Braves for many years. You know, his ERA wasn't always the greatest. But look at those those last couple of years here that led them into the World Series. He was doing really well. Here's Lenny Dykstra. He's got a World Series ring with the Mets. And Todd Hundley. Let's see what else we got here. So I, in, the doc, in the documentary, it was talking about why people feel today that he was the greatest hitter ever. And they really basically said he was one-dimensional. Uh, he was a great hitter. Uh, he was very was phenomenal in what he did. There's Rafael Pomero, uh, Edgar Martinez, Ruben Sierra. These were decent players, you know, during their time. Kevin Mitchell. They all had a few good years. Mark Langston. These were all good cards. I, Greg Harris is maybe not, but it's still a good to, it's part of the set. Here's Mike Messina. He was a decent pitcher. Dave Collins, Joe Orsolak. And Marquise Grissom. And um, today, as far as uh, well-rounded, extremely knowledgeable in every facet of the game, uh, you've, I, you've got to, I don't know, for me it's Pete Rose. It's hard for me to find anyone who is better at understanding every facet of the game than Pete Rose. He's uh, currently 78 years old. Unfortunately, um, he'll never make it to the Hall of Fame while he's alive. He'll admit it. He's, he knows. He, yeah, I used to bet on game, bet on games. And when he bet on those games, what they call gambling, um, he always bet on his team to win, even when he knew they were going to lose, because he, it wasn't about him having insider information. All right, another Manny Ramirez. That is awesome. So we've got two of his cards now, two of his rookies. And, um, and that's what he's guilty for. He's guilty for betting on his team to win every game, whether they would win or not. He could never manipulate the lineup to make sure he won, but he could manipulate it to make sure they lost. But the fact that he was betting on his team to win every time tells you that he was not doing anything technically illegal, even though he wasn't supposed to be uh, betting on his own sport. And so he's even basically said that if uh, when he dies, you know, the, they'll understand that he's no longer, he can no longer possibly be betting on games, so they'll put him in the Hall of Fame. He has artifacts in there. He's thrown out the first pitch. You know, so for somebody who's supposed to be banned, they, they do make exceptions when it's going to benefit them. And, and it's a shame, but, you know, at least he's, he's not too sore. He just wants to be able to help help people pitch. I mean, not pitch. He understands that too, but he wants to help people, to these hitters today. He says too many of them aren't hitting the way they're supposed to, the way that they need to. There's Ozzie Guillen. And what's interesting, Chuck Finley, another manager, Chuck Carr, he, um, he even said that today's ballparks are made, they're not a, a pitcher's ballpark anymore. They're not made for... Um, the pitchers to be successful, they're made for hitters to hit more home runs because that's what they feel will bring people in to the, to the stadium. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Would be somebody uh, to hit a lot of home runs. So that takes away from the pitchers. The pitchers pitched differently today. Back then, you know, the pitchers uh, during his time were being the games longer. They'd throw more complete games pitch more innings than the pitchers today. 
So and I, you, I don't mind you guys weighing in on that, but that's how I feel. Uh, know, knowing how much Pete Rose understands about this game, uh, he just, to me, is probably the greatest player ever to play the game. He ended up with 4,200 hits. It's going to be very difficult. There's a Don Mattingly. That's a sweet card there. Nice. Let's go ahead and let's uh, sleeve that one up, too. You know, the chance of somebody actually beating his record in today's game, even with the way these ballparks are, Brett Saberhagen, Ken Hill, Roger McDowell, is, is pretty slim. It's pretty slim, guys. So we, we pulled a Mattingly, another Ramirez rookie. We just wanted to do a few packs. Um, so I appreciate, again, you guys stopping by, checking out the videos. Um, you know, I, you know my, my thing is, you know, love the one you live with, live, the one you love, love, live with, uh, be with the one you love. Make sure that you treat them with, with respect and dignity. Um, you want things to go smooth in your life, then, you know, you got to compromise here and there. Um, but always do it for the right reasons and not for the wrong reasons. This is the part where Wax says, Wax.